Chinese checkers, I can do karate. Chinese checkers, I can call my daddy. Chinese checkers, oops, I'm sorry. You better be sorry, cause I'm not sorry. Itsy bitsy spider pop, itsy bitsy boo. Itsy bitsy spider pop, I love you. Flies, but the carton flew out of his hands. You're just nervous about school, Froggy, said his mother. Everyone is the first day. Not me, cried Froggy. And together they okay. I'd like for you to meet a new student who will be joining your class. This is Antoinette Jones. Antoinette, this is Mrs. McKay. Pleased to meet you. Oh, what nice manners. I'm pleased that you're joining our class today, Antoinette. Thank you, Mrs. Weber. Certainly. And if you're ever in need of any assistance, you're welcome to come by my office anytime. Thank you. Enjoy your class, and I'll see you around school. Kids, we have a new student joining our class today. Please say hello to Antoinette Jones. Hi, Hi Antoinette. So why not take five minutes and get acquainted with Antoinette? Yeah, sure, sure. So yeah. why don't you sit in the helper seat? So what can you tell us about yourself, Antoinette? Well, I have a pet turtle named Henry at home. <laughs> oh, that's, that's great, sweetie. What else can you tell us? Do you have brothers and sisters? Yeah, I have a sister named Teresa. Oh, and when my parents got a divorce last year, I got a puppy named Slurps. What? 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 Divorce! Paige, Paige. It's when your mom and dad no longer live together like my parents. Thank you, Paige. Well, that must be tough on you, Antoinette. I'm sure your daddy sees you when he can. Actually, I see my daddy every day. I live with my daddy. I see my mama when I can. Hmm. Uh, isn't that super? I'll, I'll be right back. Yeah, all you need is an orange cape to go with those socks, and you're a superhero. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you got one I can borrow. Ooh. You are funny, you girl. I wonder how funny you'll be at recess. Give me five minutes, and I'll show you I could be anybody at Tetherball. You're on! Go, you go! Go, you go! school's dance next Friday? Still not sure. You? Mm. It's not like I'm waiting for someone to ask me to go, but it would be nice. Antoinette, we're in the seventh grade. Guys don't ask girls out till high school. Jenny Montgomery got asked by Chad. Well, there goes my point being blown out by Jenny again. You know, that girl has proven me wrong more times than a fifth grader solving Chinese algebra. <laughs> okay, I guess we can go together. So what are you doing after school? Going straight home to do homework. Why? Just thought you might want to come over for a while. Can't. My mom needs my help with my little sister. Why don't you just come over to my house instead? I'll have to call my dad to see if it's okay with him. But then I can go. This class is so hard. History tests are so unfair. 
So where's your mom? She's probably taking a really long nap. She gets up at 4 a.m. to get up for work. Oh, so there you are. Where have you been? I had to drop off my library books. I don't give a damn, never mind. Just watch your sister. I need to get some rest. Girl, what's up with that? <laughs> that? That's her every day. Although you should see her with only six hours of sleep, right? That's one scary mama. Yeah, I know. But I guess it could be worse. Christina! Christina! What did I tell you? No more wired papers! <laughs> Why, Christina? Why? <laughs> because I'm not one of your fans! <laughs> what in the world is going on out here? I told you I needed quiet! Antoinette, get your stuff and go home now. But I don't have a ride home. You better tell your story walking then. Well, I'll have to look for my shoes first and... I thought I told you to kick down. rocks! Kick it barefoot if you have to! Now go! Why? Why can't you just let me sleep for just a minute? I still don't understand why you didn't just pick up the phone to come get you. Hun, it wasn't that easy. She just threw me out. You know how Paige's mom is. Especially after summer camp last year. The way she scared that poor bear. I remember having to pay the park ranger citation. But walking barefoot ten blocks? Next time just ask the neighbors to let you make a call. See? Another reason why I need a cell phone. What? Okay, okay. I just feel so bad for Paige. She looks so sad and embarrassed. Yeah, well you, you know we can't do anything about that situation. But I think I will give Maya a call and let her explain to me why she let you walk home without your shoes. Grateful, you are just like your father. You are gonna end up a loser just like him. You're never gonna amount to anything. Oh my gosh, Paige? Can you open the door? So, what are you doing here? I was just in a neighborhood. Come on, Paige. What's going on? I ran away. <laughs> you what? After she woke up, she went into a rampage, yelling that she was tired of being a money-making machine demanding to know what I contribute, saying that 
without her help, I'd be lying dead in a gutter somewhere. That nothing but a piece of crap. Come on, Paige. You know that's not true. Hey, how'd you get those scratches on your arm? Girl, she was shaking me violently while going nuts. I got away and took off running. Well, where are you gonna go? I thought I could stay with you. <laughs> you can't stay here. My dad is steamed at your mom for throwing me out. He's calling her right now. Antoinette, I have nowhere else to go. You can't make me go back home to that lunatic. Okay. Okay, listen. My dad's on his way to pick up Teresa from her music class. Come back in five minutes and I'll sneak you in for the night. Playing crazy. I'm going to get Teresa. Did you want to come, Ned? No, I think I'll take a small stretch for a few minutes. All right, be right back. Would you happen to know which pack of gum contains less synthetic materials? Nope. Would you know which one has more natural ingredients and less sugar? I don't know, man. I just sell the stuff. But would you happen to know which one sells the most? I don't know. That one? It's the most expensive one. Look, man. Here's a buck. It's on me. Anything else? Yeah, give me a pack of cools. Here's the plan. My dad will be back in 10 minutes and then we'll have dinner. After that, it's only an hour before bedtime. So all you have to do is just stay under the bed and I'll sneak you in some food a little later. What if I have to pee? <laughs> Girl, you better go now or learn how to make use of a jar. <laughs> yeah. Hello? Hello, Maya. This is Lloyd. What's up? Well, I was struggling with a few things that came up, and I wanted to give you a call to see if you might know. Right now, I'm up to my eyeballs with my own struggles. It's not a good time, Lloyd. Yeah, uh-huh. I get that. I just wanted to know if my daughter might have left her shoes over there after you got through kicking her out. Oh, don't judge me! I'm in the middle of an ugly divorce, and you have no idea what it's like for a single working mother to make it in this world. Listen, Maya, I'm a single working black man with two girls. I have my set of challenges, too. We can't go around making victims of our daughters. Now, hello? Hello? It's so hard. Like, I 
know. I, I didn't study as much for that test. I probably I failed. Yeah, just same. Get him just ahead. Quickly. I'm trying. Oh, go. Ow. Your hair. Hey, sissy. What you up to? Uh, nothing. Just reading. How was your piano lesson? It was fine, but my teacher asked. Uh-huh. Um, why don't we go in the living room so I can hear more? Okay. Hey, I put stuff in the crock pot this morning, which means dinner is served. Get washed up. Let's eat. What's got him? Uh, he's been acting sort of weird lately. Yesterday, I caught him barking at his food. Maybe if you walked and fed him more regularly, Nettie. All right, you can fool honey, but you can't fool me. What have you got Teresa, under no. here? What's she doing here so late on a school night, and why is she hiding? Teresa, you can't tell honey. Paige ran away from home and needs a place to stay for a few days. We need to help her out, just for a little while, okay? But, Nettie, you know we're not supposed to keep secrets from Honey. I don't think this is such a good idea. Teresa, please let me stay here tonight. Tomorrow, I'll, I'll figure out what to do, but please don't tell. Promise me? <sighs> Fine. But if you guys get caught, don't let Hun know that I knew anything about this. So, on the menu, we have collard greens, cornbread, and black-eyed peas with ham hock. That considered white or dark meat? Girl, you got a long way to go. Sorry for stopping by unannounced, but I thought it'd be best if I picked up Antoinette's shoes on my way to work this morning. Did you happen to set them aside? Yeah, I set a search party out for them. Hang on. So, are you doing all right? Fine. Aside for the fact that Paige didn't come home last night. Didn't come home? Where is she? She's not, she wasn't with you? You don't know? No, she didn't show up at my place. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Just great. More complications than my already stressful life. I'm in the middle of a divorce with a spineless husband, filing bankruptcy to get out of spousal support being audited, have mediation today over custody of the kids, and now I have to spend my lunch hour to see if Paige has made it to school. You know, there are just times I wish that I had one less to worry about. Paige is always causing more problems for me. I don't have time to run around town chasing her down. You know, Maya, maybe all Paige needs is a little extended grace. She's really a good kid at heart. Uh-huh. A kid who talks back and <laughs> runs away when things don't go the way she wants them to. I got too much going on to worry about this, too. As far as I'm concerned, she can stay gone for a while. Geez, Paige, it's been so much fun having you here. It's almost like having another sister. It's cool having someone to do my homework with before my dad gets home. Totally agree. It's nice not having to rush in and do chores or babysitting duties. Though by now I would have thought my mom would have come looking for me at school. It's not surprising with her half a dozen kids and two jobs. I just wish there was a way you could live here with us. Wait. Maybe you can. Hun doesn't come home till six, and then it's just a couple of hours before bedtime. Do you think that would work? Yeah, absolutely. Can I ask you a question? Why do you guys call him Honey instead of just Dad? <laughs> That's a good question. When I was three or four years old, my mom always called him that. I remember her walking around the house 
calling, Honey, can you bring me some coffee? Or, Honey, can you take the girls? I always wanted to be like my mom. She was so happy, laughing at everything. And she was so beautiful. Anyway, Teresa and I from calling him Daddy to Honey when she left us. I guess to sort of cheer him up. Girl, I guess we both share the same disappointments from our mothers. Oh my gosh, it's Honey. Quick page, hide. What's wrong with me being over? It's not like it's 10 o'clock or anything. Uh oh, you're right. Hey y'all, hi Paige, how you doing? I'm great. Hun, what are you doing home so early? Oh, I thought I'd leave a little early so I'd have time to make my smothered pork chops with flowing gravy, some buttered biscuits, and zesty corn. Oh, uh, and we still have some of those black eyed peas left over from last night. How'd you like those, Paige? They were yummy. I, I mean, they sound yummy. I've never had them before. Oh, really? You've never tried them. Well, you haven't had fine cooking till you've tried the folks cooking. Right, Nettie? Right, hun. The folks? That's Hun's way of referring to black folks. Oh my gosh, Antoinette, did you hear me almost slip? That was hardly a slip. It was more of a skid on your bumper. But somehow he missed it. Did he ask me how last night's black eyed peas were? I'm not sure. What are we going to do? How am I going to leave and sneak back in? Does he have anywhere to go tonight? No. Teresa's piano class isn't tonight. We're stuck. What's all the whispering about? We ain't got secrets among family, do we? Why don't you just leave and wait by the side of the house, and then I'll sneak you into the garage? What about your dog? He almost gave us away last night. Relax, I'll put slurps in the room. Let's just be sure and wait until the lights go out from the kitchen before we make our move. Hello? Got something to tell me? No, hun. We're just trying to figure out the answer to Mr. Walker's riddle by tomorrow. Oh, what riddle? Nothing on the inside, nothing on the outside. Light as a feather, yet ten men cannot lift it. What is it? Mm. Mm. It has to be water. <sighs> Impossible, Paige. Water has weight. What if it's frozen? Ice cubes. That must be the answer. Yeah, but ice weighs too. Remember last summer at Jones's family barbecue reunion? We were stuck dragging the coolers full of ice. Well, you think of something, because I don't hear anything but crickets chirping at your end. Yeah, well, it certainly would be those answers. Okay. Oh, well, it has to be water, and you know water. You know what? Do not, not even go It's to got me. to be Kool Aid. How is that different than water? <clears throat> Let me see if I can edumacate you young'uns. You see? The complex components factored from Kool-Aid had its origin in water base, but was reduced to a powder. Its secret powder, known as fruit powder, mm -hmm. helps avoid the weight of water, hence purposing the product to be lighter than a feather, proving that the answer is Kool-Aid. I'm so sorry, Paige. That's so embarrassing. I can't even look up. Girl, I think that's probably the correct answer. Have you ever tried Kool-Aid, Paige? Yes. But you've never tried the folks Kool-Aid, or my Kool-Aid for that matter. Here, try mine. Ah. When you try Kool-Aid, there should be a manner of regard for the combining ingredients to become better acquainted. You can help maximize the full taste by swirling your drink. This allows the oxygen to ripen its full flavor. Try it like this. <sighs> Cherry flavor. You're right, Mr. Jones, it's good. It's probably the best I've ever tasted. Mr. Jones? 
Not anymore. Lloyd? No, no. Honey, a hun is just fine. After all, you've just about completed your initiation. What initiation? Well, you've had my formal introduction to Kool-Aid. All that's left is for you to qualify for your K.A. degree upon exam. What's the K.A. degree? The Kool-Aid exam for certification. Tomorrow, all you have to do is prepare a pitcher of the fine beverage for the judge's taste test. Uh-huh. And who's the judge? Just call me Sensei or Cupmaster. Change it. Saw it yesterday. Someone's a little picky. Oh, keep this show. Well, Paige, it's getting kind of late. Did you want me to drive you home? No, thanks, hon. It's still light out, and if it's okay, I'd like to just walk home. problem. I have to use the bathroom. Why didn't you use it before leaving? I forgot. Why didn't you whiz while you were waiting by the side of the house? Hi, Jean. I didn't exactly want my socks wet. Take off your shoes. Quietly. Hurry. Is everything all right? Yep, um, everything's fine. Was that slurps I heard? Yeah, he just wanted a drink from the toilet bowl. <laughs> Remind me to get some mouthwash and put in the toilet's tank tomorrow. Good night. Good night. And what are you up to? Nothing, Teresa. What are you doing out of bed? Well, excuse me for not checking with the prison guards before leaving the rock. I'm getting something to drink. What's she- Teresa, please be quiet. Hun doesn't know. Now just go to bed. Ooh, I just know that this is gonna end bad. Just don't mention me, people. This is an AB problem? And I'll just see my way out of this one. Slurps. Slurps. Come on. Slurps. Come on. Slurps. Come on. No, slurps. Slurps. Is everything all right? <laughs> Slurps changed his mind and wanted <sighs> Kool-Aid instead. <sighs> Next time something like this happens, I just want you girls to be honest with me. Have I ever not supported you, Nettie? I can understand what you're up against. Your mama is hardly discreet in her shortcomings. But even so, that's the mama the good Lord gave you. And in due time, he will make things better for you. I'm so sorry, hon. I didn't mean to make trouble for you. Are you going to send me home? Please don't send me home. Daddy, Daddy, please don't send her away. Now look here. I'm not going to send you home tonight. But what I am going to do is give your mama a call and let her know you're okay. In the future, when stuff like this happens, I just need all three of you to just be honest with me. I stand corrected. 
I need all four of you to just be honest. Hello, Maya. What is it now, Lloyd? I uh, just wanted you to know that Paige is at our house. She's pretty upset. Yeah? So? Who said the world revolves around her? Maya, she's only a child, remember? When I was her age, I was going to school, I was working full-time, and I was running my mom's house. Maya, you shouldn't use your life as a benchmark as to the way life should be. As Maya Angelou always said, when you know better, you do better. Well, when she starts paying the bills around here, she can have a say. All Paige needs is a little less nagging and a little more understanding. Well, since you seem to have all the answers, why don't you just raise her? You know, I got a good mind to do just that. Mm. As long as I don't have to pay you child support, you can come pick up her crap tomorrow. I'll stop by tomorrow. I'll just leave it on the porch. I won't have to do this for a while. Seriously, how do you sleep at night? <laughs> you have no idea what you're up against. I can hardly wait for the apology. Hey y'all. Hey, hi. I went to talk to your mama today and we agreed to let you stay here for a while. So long as you visit her every other weekend, the same weekend that Antoinette and Teresa visit their mom. Here's some stuff of yours she packed. Does this mean I get to live here with my best friend? No, no, no. It means you get to stay here with your sister. Always remember, Paige, that though blood is thicker than water, one can't survive without the other. We may not be of the same bloodline, but in the end, it's all the same color anyway. So the way I see it, you're a family. Now I realize that it may take some time for you to understand what family's all about, but in the end, I hope that you come to remember Antoinette and Teresa as your sisters, and I as your father. I may never be able to thank you enough. Thanks, hon. You can start by making a picture of something cool to drink. Roll up them sleeves, child. You got an exam to take. Something smells funny. What's that smell? Now look, y'all. Come on now. I only had one puff. They had issues. <laughs> Come on, Paige. <laughs> no more. <laughs>
So, how is it? Not bad. Not bad. It has a distinctive taste. Mmm. Raspberry. Yeah, raspberry. But there's something else. I got creative and put a pinch from the lemon packet. Ah, that's tasty. I hereby declare that Paige has officially achieved her Kool-Aid degree and, has, and completed the requirements of the Jones family standard. Do I have a motion? Aye. Is there a second? Aye. Then it is my great honor to bestow upon Paige the prestigious Kool-Aid decree. Remember always to abide by the number one rule in the Jones family household. If there's just one cup left and you drink it, you make the next batch. Cheers. Somebody set you free. Sometimes the whole world is out to get you But oh, forget about it I try so hard to be free I dream about it Initiation. Kool Aid degree. Well, sorry. You've had my formal introduction to Kool Aid. All you need now is to pass the Kool Aid exam. A degree. degree. You've had my formal introduction to Kool Aid. All you have to do to pass the K A degree upon examination. Nope. <laughs> 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 Nothing is scary. Oh, 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 o